You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hello and welcome to the Christadelphian Daily Bible Readings for the 14th of November. The first portion of today's readings is from Ezra chapter 10, and I'm reading from the King James Version. Now when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechaniah, the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore, let us make a covenant with our God, to put away all the wives, and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter belongeth unto thee. We also will be with thee. Be of good courage, and do it. Then arose Ezra, and made the chief priests, the Levites, and all Israel to swear that they should do according to this word. And they swear. Then Ezra rose up from before the house of God, and went into the chamber of Jehanan, the son of Eliashib. And when he came thither, he did eat no bread, nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem, unto all the children of the captivity, that they should gather themselves together unto Jerusalem, and that whosoever would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and of the elders, All his substance should be forfeited, and himself separated from those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together unto Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month, on the twentieth day of the month, and all the people sat in the street of the house of God, trembling because of this matter, and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood up, and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives, to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore, make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land, and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered, and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without, Neither is this a work of one day or two, for we are many that have transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregations stand, and let all them that have taken strange wives in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from us. Only Jonathan the son of Asahel and Jehaziah the son of Tikva were employed about this matter, and Meshalem and Shabbatai the Levite helped them. And the children of the captivity did so, and Ezra the priest, with certain chief of the fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all them by their names, were separated, and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives, by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priests there were found that had taken strange wives, namely, of the sons of Jeshua the son of Josedach and his brethren, Maasiah and Eleazar and Jarib and Gedaliah. And they gave their hands that they would put away their wives, and, being guilty, they offered a ram of the flock for their trespass. And of the sons of Immer, Hanani and Zebediah. 
and of the sons of Haran, Maasiah, and Elijah, and Shemaiah, and Jehiel, and Uzziah, and of the sons of Pasha, Elioenai, Maasiah, Ishmael, Nethaniel, Jozabad, and Elisar. Also of the Levites, Jozabad, and Shimei, and Keliah, the same is Kalita, Pethahiah, Judah, and Eleazar. Of the singers also, Eliashib, and of the porters, Shalom, and Telam, and Uri. Moreover, of Israel, of the sons of Parosh, Ramiah, and Jeziah, and Malchiah, and Miamin, and Eleazar, and Malchijah, and Beniah. And of the sons of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Eliah. And of the sons of Zatu, Eliuenai, Eliashib, Mataniah, and Jeremoth, and Zabad, and Azizah. Of the sons also of Bebai, Jehohanan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Aphlai. And of the sons of Barni, Meshulam, Malak, and Adiah, Jashub, and Sheel, and Ramoth. And of the sons of Pehath Moab, Adnar, and Kelal, Beniah, Maasiah, Mataniah, Bezalel, and Binui, and Manasseh. And of the sons of Haran, Eleazar, Ishajar, Malchiah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Malak, and Shemariah. Of the sons of Hashem, Matanai, Matatar, Zabad, Eliphalet, Jeremiah, Manasseh, and Shimei. Of the sons of Barni, Maadai, Amram, and Ewell, Beniah, Bediah, Kelal, Vaniah, Meramoth, Eliashib, Mataniah, Matanai, and Jaiso, and Barni, and Binui, and Shimei, and Shelemiah, and Nathan, and Adiah, Machnadabai, Shashai, Sharai, Azareel, and Shelemiah, Shemariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph. Of the sons of Nebo, Jeel, Mattatiah, Zabad, Zebinar, Jardo, and Joel, Beniah. All these had taken strange wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children. The second portion of today's readings is from Hosea chapter 11. When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. As they called them, so they went from them. They sacrificed unto Baalim, and burned incense to graven images. I taught Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms, but they knew not that I healed them. I drew them with cords of a man, with bands of love, and I was to them as they that take off the yoke on their jaws and I laid meat unto them. He shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian shall be his king, because they refuse to return. And the sword shall abide on his cities, and shall consume his branches and devour them, because of their own counsels. And my people are bent to backsliding from me, though they called them to the Most High, none at all would exalt him. How shall I give thee up, Ephraim? How shall I deliver thee, Israel? How shall I make thee as Admar? How shall I set thee as Zeboam? Mine heart is turned within me, my repentings are kindled together. I will not execute the fierceness of mine anger. I will not return to destroy Ephraim. For I am God and not man, the Holy One in the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. They shall walk after the Lord. He shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar, 
Then the children shall tremble out of the west. They shall tremble as a bird out of Egypt, and as a dove out of the land of Assyria. And I will place them in their houses, saith the Lord. Ephraim compasseth me about with lies, and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah yet ruleth with God, and is faithful with the saints. The third portion of today's readings is from the Epistle to the Colossians, chapter 2. For I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you, and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father, and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order, and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you, through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of an holy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment ministered and knit together increaseth with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men, which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will-worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honour, to the satisfying of the flesh. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at bt 
f at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.